Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. Now look, I know what you might be thinking. Why is the audio quality dog shit? And why in the name can we see your face? Well, to be entirely honest with you guys, I decided to use this video as an opportunity for a face reveal. And not only that, because I was too lazy to build my setup in the whole mess that is this room currently, because we moved houses. And yes, that means after six days, I still have not managed to get time to build my PC setup, but that is fine. We'll get to it eventually. And as a result, I'm making this video that does not require my PC setup. But look, you did not click on this video to get a life update on me. You clicked because you were interested to know if PC optimization is truly a scam. And hey, what can I tell you? I am a PC optimizer and it's what I've recently started to do as my own business. It's been roughly four-ish months since I've started doing this and I've started the YouTube channel about six or seven months ago. Mind you, didn't, didn't ever intend to take YouTube seriously, but here we are today. And with that said, I wanted to talk about the subject because I've had one guy very clearly come into Discord and yell, scam, scam, you're charging so much money for something so easy to learn. So I wanted to address this subject. Is PC optimization really a scam? And hey, there is actual scams out there. I want to be entirely honest with you guys. If any of you have ever went to Quality Sense, you know what being scammed feels like. I've seen so many complaints about that company. It's insane. And yes, Quality Sense will literally scam you out of $100 to $150 for 20 to 30 minutes of absolute terrible work with no testing. They're, they're going to spend 20-30 minutes on your PC when they claim to spend 45 to an hour and a half depending on the system and yet they never do that. And not only that, they never follow up on a consult. If your PC is running like absolute dog crap, they're not going to help you out. They're going to charge you half the fee of the initial consult only to do it again and not do much better of a job anyway. If you still offer services, after you've done the initial consult and you still help the person out to fix their issues, you're not scamming them out of their money, you're giving your time away for free. And that's how I personally run my business. If something went wrong in a consult, which often happens, every PC is completely different, I will offer for completely free to do another session where I fix what's broken. And hey, it's how it's supposed to be. It's how you're supposed to run this type of business. And even though it takes an insane amount of time from me, it's worth doing because then you'll have a happy customer then the happy customer will recommend you to somebody else. And look, I'm not going to claim to be the best optimizer out there. I'm not. I'm significantly too young to even compete with some of the top dogs out there that are still doing it on their own, let alone a full blown company. What I want to offer though is my knowledge and time. And that's what I do already on Beefy Tech Optimizing Services. But Beefy Tech Optimizing Services is currently down because I need to finish some documentation regarding some legal stuff, take care of that in a week or two, and it's going to be back up. Now, you have to look at optimizing services like any other service. If you consider it worth the money, it's because it's something you want, not something you need. It's not one of these services that you couldn't get out of your way to learn on your own. And not only that, all of the stuff that I offer within my services, most of it, is av available for free on my YouTube channel. I do undervolting guides, some overclocking guides, some setup guides on various different systems and everything that I consider really important will be on the YouTube channel. Now yes, I do mainly post Warzone content because it's the game I've played most during my time while on YouTube, but to be honest with you guys, I don't know how long that's going to last because Warzone, sorry, is in a really, really bad state right now and I don't think it's going to get any better. Hell, I'll cover Modern Warfare 3 on releases and I'll keep continue, uh, continuing to cover Warzone because I think it's still going to be the main game that I play that's a shooter. But most of the people that come to me for optimizations come as a result of Warzone. And truthfully, if Warzone dies, a lot of my business and customers will go with it too. Because most other games just run perfectly fine and I'm fully aware of that situation. I love optimizing computers because it pisses me off to see terrible FPS. And to be honest with you, the reason I started this wasn't because I was trying to make a money-making, money-printing scheme. I'm wasting heaps of time for what essentially is barely above minimum wage in terms of getting paid to optimize computers because I really enjoy it. But the whole idea is to gain trust in the community and show that this scene is not only a bunch of scammers trying to steal $500 from you 
for a couple hours of your time or $150 from you for 10 minutes of your time and then do a terrible job. There's some really good optimizers out there, such as Preethi, that do an incredibly good job at a perfectly reasonable price. And what you're paying for is their knowledge and time. If you want to essentially learn everything on your own, there's YouTube videos, you can. You don't need to pay for something like this. You have to keep in mind that people come for an optimization for one out of two reasons. They either have a rig that is so, so good that they just want to squeeze 5-10% to 10 more performance out of it and it's perfectly reasonable for them to pay $50 to $150 at somebody else to optimize their rig. Mind you, I charge anywhere between $30 to $80 depending on the situation and for what service, but that's a different story. And then the second person that's going to get an optimization is somebody whose PC is truly broken. It doesn't have to be a high-end one, it's just a PC that's running so absolutely terrible for you know reasons like it's bloated with different softwares, it hasn't had a Windows reinstall in a decade, hasn't been on a BIOS update in a decade, that, that type of thing, you know? So those two people are the people that more often than not come to me for optimizations and then 5% of the time I've got people that need help choosing PC parts to build for their computer and I help them out usually for free through messages or for a very small fee through Discord call. And you have to keep yet again in mind, you're paying for knowledge, you're not paying for anything else in that situation with building the computers or help of building the computers, but for the other two, it's essentially not a need, it's more of a luxury. Even in the situation of the guy whose computer is not running great, the computer's still running. If you fix his computer, hoorah, that's great, but it's one of those situations where this entire scene is a luxury. People are paying, not because they need it, it's because they want it. And you're paying for somebody's time, and therefore paying for a service, and that's literally just like every other business out there. So it does not classify as a scam, as long as the business offers exactly what they're saying they offer in the exact amount of time they're saying they're offering. So, can you get scammed within the PC optimizing scene? Oh, yes you can. There's a lot of scammers out there, a lot of big companies that are mass scamming people essentially, and by scamming I mean just offering terrible, terrible services with no actual gains being made from said services. Now yes, gains are not guaranteed in an optimization, it can indeed happen that you do a flawless optimization and the guy gains like 5 FPS because his computer was already well optimized from the get-go. I would personally generally offer either a half refund or let them know beforehand that their PC is running so well that it's not worth paying the money to optimize. Other companies will do their own optimization and oftentimes leave the PC running worse. Now, I'm not saying everybody does this, I'm just saying things like Quality Sense will do that and some other big companies that aren't one guy doing optimizing but they're a full-fledged business running with dozens and dozens of people doing the optimizations. So you have to be careful if you want to get your PC optimized. I'm not saying go to me, I'm saying do your homework. See reviews, look on the internet, is this optimizing service trustworthy? You'll find your answers extremely quick with people complaining or raving about how good it was. In this way, you'll keep yourself from being scammed out of your hard-earned money, even if you have a $6,000 computer and you just lost $50 on a pointless optimization, you're still losing $50. It doesn't matter what type of computer you have, you don't want to lose money for absolutely no reason. So be careful whenever you do get one of these services. Now, I have to be entirely honest, I do recommend you go with individuals that are doing optimizations rather than big companies. The second things get industrialized and there's just a dozen random workers following a script, you're gonna lose that one-to-one -one connection immediately. Anyway guys, it's uh, been a busy time for me, so I do have to go now. I have to keep building stuff within the room, there's a lot of stuff to move around, but uh, I will be taking YouTube a bit more seriously and posting the second I'm back in the country. I am flying out of the country soon too, so my schedule's a bit messed up at the moment, but once all that gets back up and going, I'm excited to take this full time on both YouTube and the PC optimization site. Now yes, it sounds like quite a bit to do for a single person, but it's all I do anyway, and I love doing it, and I hope to be able to keep doing it for a while now. Yes, Warzone did essentially boost my subscriber count and my viewer count quite a bit, and it's a game that's pretty much dying. But I'm gonna keep playing Call of Duty regardless, because I've always loved the franchise, but I'll obviously move on to other games too and focus my optimization on some games that are just 
outright demanding rather than games most people would be playing constantly, such as Warzone, which you know is a game that essentially created the optimization scene. But there's other unoptimized games, there's not only Warzone, so I feel like there's enough games out there to definitely make a career on testing how terrible things run and how to make them run better. Anyway guys, with that said, have a good one and see you in the next video, probably in a week. Have a good one, bye bye.